Hi guys, it's uh, Tim from Crowdlays, and today what we're going to do is uh, laser engrave a pen. Hi guys, we're back again, and what we're going to do to laser engrave our pen, uh, we'll just head over here into Corel Draw, and I've got a file opened up here, um, which is my uh, go-to file for making pens. So what I've done is I've actually got these little blocks here set up and these are, a um, little trade secret here, uh, these are little Lego uh, uh, panels. So these are the same as like a little Lego pen, uh, a pin, and um, this is the little board that goes around the, pe the pin. So you use little Lego blocks and make this as a, um, as a, the spacing that you want for on here. So what we're showing is we're gonna be one, two, three, between the four and five pegs down. Um, is we're going to put the, sit that in the middle of it. So these things here sit up a tiny bit because they're the pegs that stick out of the board. So the pen will just sit inside of them nicely in, in that little center line. So I just know I'm going to be uh, three down and um, three in, and that's where I'm going to sit the pen against that block there. So I'll put a little Lego block in here, and I'll sit the pen against it. And the pen, I've marked it off because on one of our pens here, what we've got is um, these are the markings. So I've just measured in the the amount from off the tip, and that's what the um, the first little box is over there. And then I've got the section here that I can engrave onto, and I've also got another section over here that I can engrave onto. All right, so that's the first section just there, and that's the other section just there. And I've marked them off so that way they're little blocks that you can center them in and center them in there. That's how we started off. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, grab our text tool, and we'll just write, we'll make this one here a pen for, for Dad. There you go, so D A D, and we might just try and choose a font. So we press up here under the fonts. There we go, we draw this one up here. So the old comic series. So we'll try that one and just grab a circle tool or an ellipse tool and we just drag it out around it. We only want to make it fairly small, so we'll just bring it about this big, drop that in the center of it, and we might make that a bit smaller. We make that we press shift and that holds it into the center like that. And we'll just bring that down to about there. I'd say that might look pretty good there because we want the text to sort of stick out past that ellipse. So what we're gonna do with the ellipse is we'll just get this fill tool over here and we'll grab on the gradient and we'll change the gradient type to uh, this, the um, elliptical fill. Put that down to there, and that black, and then this one here, that to white. That's about what we're after. We might bring that up a bit to really fill it in a bit more. Um, something like that. We'll right click on this um, icon up over here, and what that's gonna do is just remove that little boundary on the outside, and we leave something like that. We want to get our text tool above the ellipse tool and we'll just select that to be a white. So you just might press the left click into white and then we'll come over here and we'll grab this shadow tool and scroll to the bottom. We might just get this small glow. Um, it's on RGB and something like that looks pretty good but we might just make sure this is on Gaussian just to soften those edges up there and something like that looks pretty good so now that's the design that we're going to do bring that down in here and center that and that looks about good so we just don't want to go right to the edges because that ends up engraving too far around the pen and we said something like that so that's um, centered into this little block here so you look at that one and then look at that, the center's in about the same spot. And that's it. So with all these others, when we go to send that off to the printer now, what we'll do is just delete all these other extra bits that we've got. So we can just grab from the pegboard all the way up to all these rectangles and press delete. And then that's ready to print. So we'll go, we'll go off and we'll chuck this uh, pen in the printer and we'll see how we go with it. Rightio, here we are at the uh, laser. And what we've got here is they've got the three, we've got the three blocks in, 
and then we put this block here which is the four and the five and so the pin can go in between these i've set one block up high and um, the same over the other side here and then i've also put a angle block to hold for the pen here from swiveling around that'll just lay down on on top of it so what i'll do is i'll sit the pen on top of there and down into there and then that way that sits on top of that little bit on there you just roll that around and it'll sit nice and flat when it gets to the right spot like that Hi, so we're back again and uh, we've got the pen off of the laser and this is what we've got here so there it is there uh, we'll show you some photos of it shortly and um, that's it for what we've done for today and this is the uh, finished product of the uh, dad pen and uh, this is how our process is of um, of making that so we use our little Lego board and um, that's a, it's a nice little trick for you to learn and um, doing that out rather than doing the text being in black and engraving it in the way most people do it we've just put a little shadow and a um, ellipse around the outside of it and uh, made the text stand out that way so that was pretty cool so if you guys got any other ideas of uh, uh, other movie other uh, videos that you'd like us to be able to do um, any other tips and tricks that you uh, need any help with uh, just make sure you write it down in the comments below and uh, make sure that you subscribe to um, keep up with any other new ones that we've got and uh, thanks for watching all right thank you